Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back, <laughs> thank you for joining me today, I hope this video finds you well, are you well? I hope you're well, if you're new, my nails are a mess, um, but also my name's Jo and I do <laughs> nail stuff, she does stuff, nail stuff, and stuff, she does nail stuff, with nail stuff and stuff for nails, yeah. Thanks so much for being here today. <laughs> that's not funny. That's not funny at all. Today we're going to, I'm going to try and recreate something that I don't think I can do. And having done it, I still don't, I still don't think I can do it. So I'm going to be using these Madame Glam colours. I'm also going to be quietening down because I'm shouting. I'm also going to be using a blue, a bluey turquoise from um a different brand so i'm going to start with an ombre there's the what the nail on this set that's just an easter egg is one that i made up but the rest are a recreation from oh i i got the picture ready on my phone where is it malin's wait no malin schlott um i'll put her act thing on screen um, so, but don't, don't look for it because <laughs> my version of it is shocking. Um, so I popped three colours on this nail. The bottom one, more. Oh, I'm out of shot a bit, but it, it does get better. I, I promise, kind of. I half promise. <laughs> um, the bottom colour, bigger section than the ones above it because as you bring the colours down, you kind of push everything down. So that was the first coat. I'm using the Madame Glam ombre brush <laughs> oh no i've never had rum before so i didn't know this was what was gonna happen um and just doing side swipes to blend everything together and then i'll let it maybe sort of sit for a bit and i don't mean like half an hour or anything like i don't know 30 seconds before putting it in the lamp so any strokes any indents from the strokes we're doing kind of disappear they kind of just bloop, back into does that make sense I don't, I don't think i said anything um for it to make sense so i've cured that and now oh fuck and now we're using the madame glam no wipe top coat but we're not going to cure it yet don't cure it yet hold your horses we're going to take a clear hollow glitter so it's clear <laughs> Whoa, hello. It's clear, but it's hollow. <laughs> so it's not going to, the nail's not going to go completely white as we put this over it. But we are just going to cover the, the, the bejesus out of the nail and then tap off the excess and get that shit in the lamp. This is, this is good because if your ombres aren't amazing, like this one wasn't that fantastic. Didn't worry about it too much because we're going to put this glitter over it. So it masks a multitude of sins, does glitter. And I did this, wipey wiped the sides before putting it in the lamp. So that's that one. We're just going to leave it raw, raw, um, sugared. And now we're taking the perfect black from Madame Glam. Did you know... Did you know that you can get a whopping 30% off Madame Glam using the link in the description and the code MissJo30? And there's a whole bunch of other discount codes that I will put in the description for other nail places. McCart, Born Pretty, Vetsy. <gasps> Vetsy box arrived today, so I'll be showing you that soon. I haven't looked at it yet, so we'll we'll look at it together. So I'm curing the black and then I'm, I topped it with no white top coat. And then I'm taking this, this is from Vetsy. This is the Magician series, they're chromes. And then the last two are those kind of pearly, like they're not pink and blue chromes. They're that iridescent -y, chromey unicorn shit. Um, and I'm taking the gold one and I've just used the applicator that's come in that little case. And we're going to chrome this. And the tiniest bit goes such a long way with chromes. So I'm going to do all of that in chrome. And then we're going to dust off. <laughs> we're going to dust off the excess chrome, the excess powder. 
pigment powder whatever and this is what I do on a person very lightly very very lightly file the free edge whisper when you do it just to be safe um, file the free edge and then I'm going to go straight over with a no wipe top coat some people like to put a base coat and then a top coat down because they think it helps it wear better I personally don't notice the difference with that but if you do then that's obviously phantasmagorical um, but even the base coat that you put down first has not got anything to grip to apart from this powder which is on a shiny dry surface so what I do is then over cap like I just did there I turned it upside down to show you I will push the person's pad their finger pad that's under their nail back as far as possible and then really over cap the free edge and then cure it and then get them to turn their hand upside down so the underside cures as well and it kind of shrink wraps over the nail and I found that really does make a difference with the wearing of chromes um, I had a piano player client so she was obviously you know tippy tapping on keys all the time and she got three weeks with no wear so that was how I've done chromes since then and now we're taking Lello. This is called, I don't know, whatever it was when I showed you a minute ago. Uh, I can't remember. And we are going to do a swirl. So this again is, well, again, a kind of recreation, but just nowhere near as good. Um, so we're doing a, a swirl across the nail, starting the centre for some reason. I like to get the main one on and then work around it. So that the one in the middle is the exact shape I want because the shape kind of changes as you go around it where you don't have the same space to get that shape. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I don't really care at this point. I've had two very strong um, mojitos. Never had rum before and I'm on my third Desperado so welcome to Saturday Nightly Show. We're now covering that, so we didn't cure that yellow, we covered it with acrylic powder or dip powder, but a clear one, and then cured it, and then dusty dust off any of the powder left. You can get all your stripes of colour on first, and then do powder, but I just, I have very little faith in myself. <laughs> so one at a time is fine. It is obviously going to take longer stopping and curing and whatever but you know I had I had time I had the time and now we're going to do blue above that we're going to do pink and then after the yellow we'll do pink again pink blue yellow yeah so maybe pink blue yellow and then just repeat that all over the nail I am going to um oh get that get out get out don't want this to start looking like the the old acrylic um I know some of you still remember and like to let me know you remember, which I find hilarious. So we're going to repeat that pattern. There we go. Done. Um, I cut these down a bit because the one with the rabbit on is like 15 minutes of video for one nail. So I kind of tried to speed everything else up because I don't know how long you want to sit with me. Um, so that's that one. Yay. And... Now we're doing a full nail in this turquoisey, bluey, whatever you'd like to call it. And we're going to take black gel paint. Okay, this is the rabbit one, the bunny rabbit. So we're taking the black gel paint from Madame Glam. You can use gel polish if you like. Um, that sounded like I was giving you permission. You may, but only because I've just said so. <laughs> and we're going to do... Curve from one side, curve from the other. Curve in between, and then kind of an egg shape. Well, we're going for egg shape. I say kind of an egg shape because, you know, don't put pressure on yourself. Egg, egg, egg adjacent, egg shape like will do. And then another curve in between that, and then a full cure. So I think as long as you get a couple in that do look eggy, um then the rest are just curves and then we're going to fill these in with the colors I showed you earlier and I'll speed this up a bit this nail oh my goodness this is the second one I did of it because the first one was 
fucking awful. Um, to the point where I thought, I don't know if I should just try again or just, just bin off the whole situation. But I tried again um, and it's still... It's all right. But I stopped looking at, and I've said this before, I stopped looking at the reference picture because everything I was doing wasn't as good as the one that I had seen um, or I wasn't ever going to think it was as good because that was the one, that was the original and if it didn't look like that, then I thought it was shit. So because this is the second time I was doing it, I didn't look at the I didn't look at the reference picture at all and just did my version of it. And that was the only way I was going to be happy with it. So um I have cured those colours. I went over the yellow twice because it had gone a bit greedy with on top of the blue. And now we're taking the white gel paint. And we're going to do some little details on the eggs. You can be as fancy and fiddly or minimal as you like with their stripes would look nice all over. They were the easiest thing to do, really. Um, stripes, dots, and you're golden. Oh, oh, <laughs> I do at the end, after doing this, go over all the black and white line work. So maybe... You could save this bit until it's been matte topped at the end. But you'll see when we get there what I mean. Um, because I'd matte topped this once I'd finished this nail, it kind of dulled a little bit all the white and the black. I mean, it didn't dull it, but it wasn't as crisp looking. So I went over it all. So you could leave the detail, although you need to get the colours on. Therefore, you need to put the black outlines on so you know where you're putting the colours. Uh, yeah, maybe do the eggs, but don't put the detail onto the... You'll see when we get there, you'll see. It will all make sense. And now we're going to do a rabbit that looks, again, nothing like the inspo picture. But I have made my peace with that, kind of. I might have dreamt about it last night. I also dreamt about Federer and Nadal and Djokovic. Oh, that was a good dream. I'm going to have to try and remember it later. <laughs> so we're going to do, we're using a grey and we're doing a big, it's not a circle and it's not an oval and it's not a square. It's kind of a, a, a halfway between three things, like a third of everything. Like it's a little bit, kind of, sort of, maybe square. It's the square that those clients ask you for, you know, I'd like a rounded square. It's kind of that. But it's... I was going for oval on the side-ish. And then we're just going to pull out from the bottom of that oval and take it down to the egos and then fill that in. Sometimes it's easier to fill in, like where I did the two lines coming out at the bottom, it's easier to fill it in to see if you've got it symmetrical once it's filled in as opposed to just the, the, the outline. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know, I'm sorry. And now we're going to add some ears. So we're going to do a curve. Again, we'll, we'll break it down into shapes. I'll try and break it down into shapes, if I remember. Um, <laughs> so we're doing a curve one side and then decided to do a curve the other side as well. And just bring that down to his, her, head. Oh, actually, I think it's a her. And then this one, we're doing an upside down L and then a little curve to the top bit <laughs> and then pulling out from there to the point at the end of the L and then I'm going to kind of lift there, just there, I kind of aimed my brush up and down a bit just to make it not so much of an L, more of an up and a fold as opposed to a, a, a right angle ear fold. And then we cured it. This is fucking awful. I'm sorry. Um, and now we're going to outline everything with the black gel paint. Do I need to say much about that? I'm using, this is the Man and Glam Long Fine Liner. The head shape does change, but just ignore it. Because it turns out, I, I, I finished it, 
looked at it and went, what the fuck is this? So I had to kind of rectify some things, but it doesn't change the way I did anything. So we're outlining everything and I'm using the, at the end of the brush, there's like one little hair that's longer than the rest of them. And I'm trying to use just that bit. I mean, clearly failing because the lines aren't that thin, but, but trying. Just try your best and it'll be fine. Saying that, this did take me about two hours. <laughs> Maybe more, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the time. Oh, here. So on the bottom of the flap down bit of the ear, I've taken it into the grey, but not all the way. And then down. So done another L inside it sort of thing. And then a line on the outer portion of the bottom half of the flappy ear on the left. And now we're outlining his body, but we're going to, we've done two lines in the middle as well. We're going to make them pink. It's going to be a pink tummy. And now we're doing the same shape inside the sticky uppy ear. And then we're going to fill all those in with pink. I think, did I do two coats on this pink? I'm not sure that I did. Um, but if it's, if it's not opaque enough over the gray, then do two thin coats instead. So once we've got those on, we will cure. I was I was flash curing a lot, but because we're doing a lot on top of, so obviously that grey had to be fully cured before we put the pink on it. Anything we put on top of another bit of gel, that bit of gel, unless it's some kind of technique or design that you don't want it fully cured for. But in general, if you're painting on top of it, you want whatever you're painting on top of to be fully cured. And then we're doing a big smile. This is with, I think this is, is this white gel polish or is this the gel paint? I can't remember, but either's fine. And then we're doing sort of like a lip. So from the center of the smile, we're doing maybe like the top of a heart. Like so. Like a bean. Uh, that's no, Like a peanut. A side view of a peanut. Although they go in at both sides, so I don't know. <laughs> This shape, a curve, start with a curve and then do an M on top. A lazy, spread out, sleepy M. Like a bird, you know, when you do those birds that are just lazy M's. And then we're going to, we full cured that and we're doing a straight line and then two little C's off the side, just like that. And then another straight line either side of that straight line I love how I'm describing it like just like that just like that whereas really this was attempt number seven to do this bit I'm very picky and most of the time nothing is a first attempt <laughs> don't be fooled and then we're going to use that sort of v section from the top of the mouth the lazy m heart slash side view of a peanut <laughs> and then just curve between them and that's the nose and then we're going to outline his mouth area section, mouthful space. <laughs> oh my goodness, guess what I just had on the telly? <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> Focus on the nails. We're going to fill in the nose with pink and then we're adding a bit of base coat to some white. Oh no! to black first but it wasn't just regular black it was already a jelly black so if you haven't got a jelly black then add the teeniest tiniest bit of black to some base coat some clear and we've mixed that together and now we're just kind of making making shit up i'm going to go around the outside a bit i think i go down the side of his they're not arms the body <laughs> And then a bit to the left of the pink tummy area. Maybe a bit to the left of the pink on the ears. Not to be perfect shading where there would be shit. No. Just being fat. I'm just f***ing around, really. Just faffing. Faff like a fucking champion. That's what we're doing. Just to make it look like, ooh, that might have been difficult. <laughs> just making it up. So we'll then do the same. We're going to cure that. Oh, I am putting some on the tummy. See, it just, I don't know. Does it add anything? Uh, I don't know. But we're going to then take the, milk, the white 
and the <laughs> the um, clear mix. So it's milky. I was going somewhere with the word milk. <laughs> I didn't confuse white gel polish with milk. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? What did I put? Oh, poured milk with my orange squash the other day. Didn't eat, wasn't thinking. Didn't realise until I took a sip. Not a good mix, FYI. <laughs> so we're adding this milky mix just kind of inside of where we've done the dark, darker mix. And then using the very edge of where that milky mix ends just before the darker bit and we're going to just sort of fade it onto it a bit here just at the edge just kind of try and blur it out a bit not that fast but just give it a little wiggle um I don't know made me feel like I was doing something <laughs> and then <laughs> pop that in the lamp and now eyeballs oh I haven't told you the funny thing that was on telly so I did two dots and then we're going to pull them down to meet the mouthy bit and then we will full cure them and then with the white gel paint we're going to do a dot in each and then a little dot to the side of each of those dots. I don't know what's happening now but I'm going to tell you what happened. Oh we're just going to add some highlights on the opposite side of the darker bits with some white gel paint. Some of them, the ones on his face, will disappear, so just ignore those. <laughs> so I was watching Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway, which I don't normally watch, but it was on. Anton Deck, if you don't know her, they're national treasures. There's this duo. They're just silly. They're best friends. It's just kind of funny. Oh, we're adding eyelashes, because how do you make something a girl in the nail art world? Add eyelashes. And they did, and then we're going, right, okay, let me tell you what's happening with the nails, and then we'll get to the important stuff. And then we're going to matte top coat. Oh, no, we're not. We're adding blusher, pink with some clear. And then we'll matte top, and then we're going to add stars, because me, of course, I'm going to add some fucking stars. So they set up this um, fake um, automated, like, machine check-in at a hotel, and people were coming in to check in and bless them most of them were quite old were coming in to check in and it was asking them the most ridiculous questions and people were getting annoyed at it but it was funny um, like a tray would pop out with some sausages and they'd be like please pick which sausage you would like in the morning and just asking them silly things and then <laughs> so I, I don't normally laugh out loud at Ant and Deck they're kind of more endearing cheesy fun but then there was this old guy called Ernest He'd answered all these questions. Bless him, he was about 240 years old. And they said, would you like a complimentary travel size, travel toothbrush? And he went, oh, yes, please, if it's free. So it came like shooting out this machine. <laughs> oh, th that's the bunny. Mm, let me know what you think. We also need a name for it. So please let me know what we should call him, her. And then they said, oh, bye-bye. Would you like um, complimentary travel socks? And Ernest said, yeah, okay, yes, please. We're now doing an egg shape in top coat on a matte nail. And we're going to chrome it. Um, he said, oh, yes, please. He said, would you like some complimentary travel pants? As in, like, knickers. And he went, oh, yes, okay. So some travel pants, some knickers popped out the machine. <laughs> and then he said, this was the bit that got me. He said, would you like some complimentary? Travel puzzle. <laughs> Travel. Let me say it properly. Travel puzzle. <laughs> Some travel puzzle. <laughs> An earnest blessing. I was like, oh, okay, yes, please. <laughs> oh, I think you had to be there. <laughs> oh, it tickled me. <laughs> Some travel puzzle. <laughs> Anyway, um, Ennis was in the audience after, bless him, because <laughs> they jump out at the end um, and everyone's like, oh, you bastards, <laughs> standing here for 40 minutes, holding up a sausage to a screen, <laughs> going, and they're going, is that your husband's sausage? Please tell the screen, this is my husband's sausage. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> travel battle. <laughs> right. What have we done? So we did an egg in no wipe top coat. 
and then we chromed it and then we dusted off the excess and we topped it again and then we wiped it because sometimes when you dust off the the chrome excess um, before topping it will sort of smear onto the rest of the nail but once you've then topped the area that you want chrome that you have chromed you can wipe and it will get rid of the stuffs um, and now we are going to um, paint in the same color that we did on the first swirly nail second one that was wasn't it we're just going to do some stripes of the pink yellow and blue making sure as you get to the sides that it, the thickness of the stripes is parallel the whole way or is the even the whole way and that the side the edges don't wisp off thin they stay that thickness to the side of the egg and now we're matte topping I know why why uh it's a good question oh because we want the colors to be matte but we want the chrome to be shiny so this kind of matches the other swirly one so now we're going over the chrome with no wipe top coat <laughs> with some travel basil and then we will cure again i'm sure sometimes i go the arse over tit way about things like there, well, there was probably a quicker way of i don't know was there i'm not sure i think i take the scenic route of doing a lot of things sometimes i outlined the egg which i forgot to film well i thought shall i outline the egg not sure let me film it if i don't like it i can take it off but i did like it ish so I left it on but didn't film it. I don't I don't know. Not not a huge fan of this this one. The black outline it just looks a bit I don't know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I am talking to you. I'm not just talking to myself, am I? And then I'm going over the center of each of those stripes with a white stripe with the white gel paint because it doesn't need topping. So you can plonk that on anything. And you're good to go and you can see on the rabbit that i have gone over the black and the white again on top of the matte top coat and i also went with a white line inside the black line out on the outside of his mouth area bit um i don't know why just just felt like it so that the white and the black on that bunny one now stand out a bit more his teeth as well and all the the bits on the egg if you uh like this video that's them by the way then uh, come back and i'll see you in the next one bye bye